All right, guys, so in this video, I wanted to look back at the early years of the Twin Towers, focusing mainly on that time period, the late 70s and the early 80s, where you had both of the Twin Towers up with basically nothing next to them. There was no financial district, financial center, at least not yet. And it's such an interesting contrast to look at it right along the water. You can see taking a look at this first one. This was in the mid-70s. Both the towers just have been completed. And it's just such an interesting contrast. You know, I always envision looking at the towers from right along the water, looking down and just seeing dirt and mud, and then looking up and seeing two giant buildings. It is pretty remarkable, the contrast of it. This photo, right when the towers were about to be complete in the mid-1970s. This one, even earlier, you can see the tridents look very nice in that. You know, one of the things that's interesting about the towers, it seemed like they were more shiny when they were newer, like the early 80s. It seemed like they reflected very well uh, from the sun, and then they kind of lost that a little bit. There's another great photo of them before there was anything built up along the water. What an interesting image. You've got the beautiful the beautiful sky in the background. Look at the antenna on the North Tower. Yeah, so that is a different antenna. Somebody was messaging me that the North Tower had a different antenna originally, and then they put a new one up after about 15 years. You can see that and just the shine right off of the buildings onto the water. Very beautiful. Here's another one, kind of a similar image with that same exact antenna. The antenna looks very strange here. It looks a lot shorter, and you can see the wires coming off of it. Uh, connecting to the top of the building right there, but those, those buildings, they almost look fake. I wonder if, the, yeah, this is this had to have been edited. I mean, what, what a great shine off of those towers right there, that is. This is another one. This is kind of what I was talking about. You could see the original setup. There's just nothing there. It's just dilapidated land, and then look up. There's two massive 110-story buildings. Such, a, such an interesting contrast. There's another photo with the sun reflecting off of them from across the water, and you can see th actually into the tridents a little bit, at least look at them there. Another photo, kind of similar, almost looks like this is at dusk, maybe 6 o'clock at night uh, in the lower Manhattan area. Both of the towers fully operating, probably the mid to late 70s because looks like they just opened in this image. Here's another image. All of these are kind of similar in terms of just being able to see the tridents in the bottom of the towers from across the water uh, before the financial district was actually fully finished and the financial center was put up. This is a very strange image right here. So both of the towers are still under construction and you can kind of see all the construction lights within the towers. It almost makes it look like it's they're officially done. You, you know, you know, but obviously they're not. That's not how normal light reflects off of the towers. You can see it looks like one of those kangaroo canes at the top of one of the towers, and then looking at the base at the tridents, one of the towers, none of the tridents are even lit up. The other one, there are lights within it, but it's just an interesting photo of the final stages of construction with all the construction lights shining in through the towers. I thought that was kind of rare. This is another one. You can see nothing behind. Very beautiful with the light blue, very beautiful with the light blue sky changing to dark blue uh, as you get higher looking at that image there. This is another good one that shows the contrast. Imagine if there wasn't that little highway right there, or whatever that is. There would be nothing there, and both of the towers being constructed. The plaza isn't even done at that point, and there's just a bunch of dilapidated land that sits empty as they designed both of the towers. That was like the final steps of the towers, because they were already officially built at that point, looking at the tops of them, uh, but the, the plaza was not built up at all. In terms of that, this is another interesting photo. I mean, just look at the towers almost look silvery white in this image, the way the sun reflects off of them. But this is the uh, late 1970s when that image was taken there on the left. This is another one you can see kind of built up a little bit more in terms of that. It looks like they blurred out all of the land in front of that highway area, but the towers... Here is a pretty crazy difference, left versus right. You've got both of the towers, nothing else up, and then you can see on the right the entire financial center, and then you do have the Freedom Tower. What an, it, it, the towers just look so bare on the left, you know, but I guess they were building them up. That's kind of how you do it. Just nothing there outside of these two massive skyscrapers, and then the Freedom Tower there on the right with all of the other buildings surrounding it in front of the Freedom Tower there. This is a pretty good image. I I'm not sure when this was taken, but I just, it's interesting how close the Marriott was to both the towers. So there are the towers and the Marriott is on the left. 
you can see going up the three different buildings right there. This is a really good photo. I mean, look at all that just grassland, and you can see the towers off in the distance. It's such an interesting contrast. You see the tridents there as well. Just very early photo in the 1970s. Here's another similar uh, version of it with undeveloped land right next to the towers. Pretty cool. I love photos like that. And then here's another one. You can see the tridents there on the right, one of the towers with a bunch of the land starting to get developed, a bunch of the foundation, the concrete getting poured there. And then this is just, yeah, this is, an, this is the final actual model of the Twin Towers. It's interesting because when they initially revealed it, there was a completely different design in terms of the surrounding buildings, meaning building four, five, and six were completely different. I actually liked the, the initial model. I still don't know what the point of that was. There were a bunch of pillars surrounding the towers that they ended up not choosing, and this is what they ended up going with. But you can see that is the final model of that. This is a very rare image of the lobby from 1978. Sunset, beautiful, looking through the tridents out. What a rare image that is. Such a peaceful, uninterrupted view there of the sunset through those windows. Look at the history within this photo. So... Obviously, completely a fake photo. This was in the movie Raise the Titanic. And yes, I have done videos on the Titanic, another different type of disaster there. But this is the hypothetical in the mid-1980s. They made a movie. What if they were able to raise the Titanic? We know the Titanic was ticketed for New York. And you can see both of the Twin Towers in the background. Just a crazy image considering the fate of both the Towers and the Titanic. They did think maybe the Titanic was still in one piece because there was some debate in regards to it breaking in half or not. It's really not like the movies where you can see it directly break. It was pitch black when it actually did it, but it did break. Obviously, we saw it at the bottom of the ocean, but this was just kind of the hypothetical. If it was still in one piece and they were able to raise it, it is kind of funny. The funnel is still there. I'm not sure, not sure how that works, but either way, you do have the Twin Towers in the background of that fictional image. This is a very rare image in 1981. You can see the construction, or probably 19, well, maybe 1981, because it looks like it's about to be finished. The Marriott World Trade Center, three World Trade Center, was completed in 1981. It lasted 20 years to 2001, uh, and, and in 2001, obviously, it was destroyed by the towers falling on top of it, but there's a construction image there. That's a crazy photo on the beach looking up at those two massive buildings, you know, just a, a very, you know, Kind of odd situation there. And then this, I, I, it's just, just, there's so much yellow. It looks like all the, all the buildings there are just illuminated in yellow from the camera glow. And you can see the nice reflection of the antenna in that image. This is another rare image of the construction in 1981. Looks like the final touches of the Marriott World Trade Center going up there and then the financial district coming into focus in that image. But guys, those are just some cool images of the early years. I tried to keep it after the initial construction, so like mid to late 1970s, mainly focusing around 1978 to 1983. That's when most of those photos would have been. Uh, but either way, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.